Hello everybody and welcome to this Utah tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to tell you how to set up a text-to-speech engine known as Ivona from the Google Play Store. Uh, we're going to download all the applications necessary to get that running, configure the settings, and um, show you uh, how to do this. So um, you can use the, the default text-to-speech engine that comes with the most Android tablets is the Google one and you know it's not the most realistic and you might not like it so we recommend using this Ivona text-to-speech engine which we found the best to be. You can use one of your choice any languages that you can find on the App Store but for this uh, example we're going to tell you how to configure the Ivona one. So go ahead and launch Google Play uh, Store and we're here at the home page of the Google Play Store now go ahead and locate the, the little search icon over here and click on it. We're going to type in Ivona and give it a quick search. So you notice these the first two uh, applications that pop up. It's The first is the Ivona Text-to-Speech HQ and the second is the Ivona Kendra US English Beta. As you can see there's various other languages, German, Australian English, Polish, so you can download whatever uh, to fit your needs. But for this example, we're going to configure the Kendra US English. So first, go ahead and click on the first application. We're going to click on install and install it. Accept and download. Click over here. And uh, just exit out of here. It's just a message saying we're downloading it. And um, you can see this one was small application, so already installed. Now, please go back by clicking the back button over here. And we're gonna download the language this time, which is the Ivona Kendra US English Beta. So click on here. Now, this is a fairly large application, 148 megabytes. So um, you might wanna be on Wi-Fi when you're downloading this. So go ahead and click install. And click on accept and download. You'll also get a little warning by the Play Store itself that you know the, it's a large application. So use download using Wi-Fi and click proceed and this app will be downloading on the side and um, because it might take a couple minutes I'm gonna pause the video here and uh, so as you can see the application is wrapping up downloading and it's about to finish and there we go it's installing it now and you know the installation is complete when you see the open and uninstall button So we are all set there. Now we're going to go back to the desktop or the home screen of our tablet. Click home. And you'll see um, if you have the setting that the icons will show up. Or uh, for this example, we'll just access, it, access them through the uh, apps button over here. So we'll click through. And we're going to go um, uh, and look for our text-to-speech applications. And you'll see them under I. So there's Ivona Kendra and Ivona Text-to-Speech. So to set it up, we're going to click on Ivona Kendra and click on it. And you'll be brought up to this menu, which opens up in landscape mode. So we're going to switch the tablet around real quick. It's just a little disclaimer. And we're going to go ahead and uh, click on OK on the bottom over here. And it says... Um, the voice requires an update. Uh, you might get this example, but or this message, but um, I don't think this is necessary. You can click OK, um, but it'll probably just bring you back to the App Store. You just want to go ahead and um, just open, open and launch the application again, either from the App Store itself. You can go back home and, and launch it. So we'll click on Open, and we're back here. So it says the you get a message saying the Ivona text to speech is not currently set as the default text to speech. So we're gonna go. Uh, to our TTS settings by clicking here and we're gonna go we're gonna be back into our Google settings so let me just flip the tablet around real quick and here you see it um, we're in the main menu under the personal category and we are in the language and inputs tab um, sorry it might not be visible but it says language and inputs over there so when you click on language and inputs um, you're gonna be here and you want to select the Ivona text-to-speech HQ and you'll get a message, um, attention, just click OK, and that's all set. So just to confirm, you want to click on um, language and input again, and you'll be back into the language and input menu. You just want to scroll up a little bit, and under speech, there'll be text-to-speech output. You want to click text-to-speech output, and as you can see, um, our Ivona text-to-speech is all set. 
and um, you know we can see the settings and stuff and preferred preferred voice we want to click on English Ivona Kendra and uh, that should be all set just return so as you can see um, the text-to-speech engine is now all set up now if we launch you talk for the first time after setting this up um, and let's just say for example we go to yes no uh, you'll see a complete action using um, pop-up come up because we now we have an, a text-to-speech engine different than Google so first of all we're gonna click um, uh, use by default for this action this little check mark over here we'll check that and we're gonna click on Ivona text-to-speech so now the whole process is complete and you'll hear the um, nice text-to-speech voice of the of the engine we have just um, downloaded so we'll just confirm to make sure it did yes no so as you can see the the voice is back to Ivona and that is how you set up the Ivona text-to-speech and if you ever um, wanted to edit the settings and stuff again um, you can click go back into the sorry let me show you how to get there you can go back into um, the and launch the Kendra icon Ivona Kendra and click after clicking you'll be back into the page where we were originally the first time when we um, were setting up the thing the text-to-speech engine and you can click this little tab over here and it'll bring up uh, you know the first slider says a uh, speech rate um, and the second slider says pitch so if you wanted to change the speech rate or the pitch you can configure here save and exit and the settings will take into effect when you go back into utalk so I hope this was a good tutorial on how to set up the Ivona text-to-speech engine. You can follow a similar process for the speech engine of your choice and uh, any languages you want. Uh, the only thing to be aware of is that you might need to tweak around this, the settings under the main settings and under uh, personal, you go to language and input. And under language and input, you would again have to go into um, text-to-speech output and you'll probably see your text-to-speech engine visible here and you would want to set that up. So I hope that was a good tutorial and you enjoyed it.